It's lunchtime. I'm Stephen Brooks, here in my home in Punta Mona, Costa Rica. Fifteen years ago, I landed here and started creating a tropical paradise off the grid in the jungle. You need a boat to get to Punta Mona, and since there are no supermarkets out here, I had to make my own by planting hundreds of species of edible plants and tropical fruits. Mother Nature keeps my pantry overflowing with exotic abundance, and I keep finding delicious ways to serve it up. Our kitchen is always staffed by an ever-rotating motley crew of friends and visitors. Antonio! What you come bearing? Every day, I teach people who don't know their acerola from a hole in the ground how to cook amazing tropical treats. See, look, this is acerola. I wasn't kidding. So hang out for a lesson, because each week we'll learn everything about how to make delicious and healthy dishes from the field to the plate. <laughs> the mustard is coming up. My banana. Pardon me, can you pass the black pepper? <laughs> Cranberry hibiscus. Bidiba! Suriname cherries. Primitivo bananas. Delicious. The cashew fruit. Jack. That's a big fruit. Star fruit. It took. This one's called Lovey Lovey. Lovey Lovey. What a great name. Cooking jungle style here in the jungle kitchen. Yes. I'm Stephen Brooks, and you're invited to come see what's cooking here in the Jungle Kitchen. <laughs>describe you know what what is the jungle kitchen I mean it's we are super creative with the ingredients that we have you know it's not like we could just go to the store and grab whatever we need we have what we have and then we, we don't have any refrigeration so we have to be really creative with the leftovers and I'm really good at that um, you know like for example last night's rice was this morning's rice pudding I mean the truth is leftovers is a part of everyone's reality so why can't you be gourmet with them and turn them into some real incredible jungle treats?